everybody, this is Boogass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Thing figure. So before we take a look at the thing, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with interchangeable hands. Now I like to keep the interchangeable hands on him because when you have the uh, fisted hands on him, it just makes his hands look really small, like his arms are huge and his hands are really small. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So here's the fisted hand, and then here's the open hand. I feel like this one just looks more proportionate to him. So he comes with a pair of relaxed hands. That pops in pretty easy, easily. And they pop out pretty easily too, so that's pretty good. So there he is with the relaxed hands on him. And then he comes with an alternate head. So this head is just a standard expression. It's just him looking all normally. And then here he is with the angry head sculpt. And I like this one too. I don't know which one I like better. I do like that it, he comes with alternate heads though. Because you can use this one for standard posing. And you can use this one for when he's fighting someone. I've already uh, used this when I've taken photos of him. I've been posing this figure so much it's not funny and taking photos of it. It's just a really awesome figure. I think it's probably, not probably, I think it is the uh, Marvel Legends figure of the year for me. So let's take a look at that head sculpt. So for the head sculpt, and basically the whole body, all of the rocks are sculpted very nicely. And as you can see, he has scratches and dents in the rocks. And in between each of the rocks, he has that wash of brown although it, it kind of comes and goes like it's light brown right here on his forearm and then it's really really dark brown right here on his chest so and uh, a little bit on his torso but I can it's just really dark right there as compared to down here I feel like they just focused a lot of the uh, dark brown right here and mine had this really weird place right here this gray place in the center of his uh, chest so, I don't know what that is. But yeah, I feel like they did go just a tad bit too dark with the brown right here on his chest when compared to right here where it's that light brown. Or if they did do uh, the dark brown, just not do as much of it. But on all of the rocks, you get nice sculpted detail. You get scratches and scuffs and, and dents. And it just looks really nice. Um... My only complaint is that it uh, isn't painted right there. I figure that's probably a hard spot to get painted, though, because if you make custom action figures, you know that's a, a pretty tough spot to paint. And then there is shorts. And it, it kind of seems like all of the Fantastic Four have different collars. Like there's Invisible Woman. And then here's Mr. Fantastic. And I mean, for the most part, the colors are just about the same. But Invisible Woman is definitely different. This is blue. This is kind of like a, a bluish green color or indigo. It's not really, not quite blue. And this is light blue. So all of the colors on their suits are a little bit different, but not enough to where it really bothers me. And then there's his knees. And right there, you see that in between the rocks right here on his thighs, um, it doesn't have as much of that brown wash over it. And on this thigh, on his left thigh, it does. So that's the that's the one thing on mine. The the brown in between the rocks, in between all the rocks, um, can be really dark to really light to almost not there at all. So it does uh, shift color a lot with that dark brown. And then there's the back of the thing. And not much going on there. And he actually has some sculpting on the bottoms of his feet. That surprised me. You do have a little bit right here where it says all the production stuff that doesn't have some sculpting on it. For the most part, the bottom of his feet are sculpted. So that's pretty nice. And then there are the thing toes. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty dark too. That brown's pretty dark there. As compared to right here where it's really light. So that's not really a, a complaint of mine, 
I just think it's odd that the collar comes and goes. And that mine has that really weird gray place right there. I don't even know where that's from. Because this is uh, cast in orange. So I don't even know where the gray wood came from. So now let's go over the articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way. Or you kind of have to move it back like that. He can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. He has single jointed elbow. It's also on a swivel. He has swiveled wrist that can move side to side. And up and down very far. Like it can bend in almost that far. Let me put that back in. So that's how far his wrist can bend in. Even though that kind of looks like uh, his wrist is broken. But you get pretty good articulation with the wrists. Even with the uh, fisted hands. Let me switch that out here. There. So you even get a pretty good range of motion on these two. He has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way and can actually crunch forward. That surprised me too with being such a big bulky figure. I did not figure he'd be able to crunch forward. And he can move side to side. He has swiveled waist that can move side to side as well. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. Can't kick back at all. He has swiveled the thigh double jointed knee, swivel at the ankle to move up and down, and an excellent ankle rocker. So the articulation really surprised me with him because he's, he's a really big character and with big characters Hasbro tends to kind of skimp on the articulation a little bit in favor of like sculpt and paint detail. But the thing, he's he's got great sculpt detail, great articulation, pretty good paint apps. I mean the, the paint apps are kind of like I said with the brown right there but other than that it's really good so now let's do some size comparisons so first up here is the thing next to the toy biz thing and I, I like both for different reasons but I definitely like the color on this more this is definitely the thing and this is this is kind of a weird yellowish orange brown collar. The collar is kind of all over the place here on this thing. The shorts are the same. I mean they're, they're the same blue and everything. And the head sculpt... I don't know. I, I'm thinking this one. I like this head sculpt better. The one thing I really do like better on this Toy Biz figure though is this thing has bendable fingers. So, I mean, they're, they're not quite as bendable as they used to be, but this one had bendable fingers, and that was really awesome to me. I'll probably do a uh, toy showdown with him sometime, with uh, the Toy Biz thing and this thing. So, there he is next to the original thing. Here he is next to the Walgreens figure that started it all. Started the Fantastic Four, I should say. Not started at all. Invisible Woman. So there he is next to Invisible Woman. Here he is next to Mr. Fantastic. I think it was, was it Mr. Fantastic then Human Torch? Or Human Torch then Mr. Fantastic? I think it was Mr. Fantastic then Human Torch. Or at least that's the way my Walgreens uh, got him in. And finally, here he is next to the Human Torch. Now let's see if I can try and get all of them in one shot here. Okay, I'm trying to kind of lean her against him. So, there is the full Fantastic Four. And I am really glad that uh, they decided to make all of them. Um, they also decided to make uh, Silver Surfer, which I haven't gotten yet. And um, there were, it was supposed to be Doctor Doom, but then they revealed that it's going to be the Walgreens exclusive infamous Iron Man. 
So I guess now uh, the Fantastic Four exclusives are done at Walgreens, and now they're going to shift focus to X-Men characters. Which doesn't bother me, because really, all I need is just the main Fantastic Four, and I'm happy. So yep, I am super happy that the new Hasbro Fantastic Four is complete. So I would highly, highly recommend the thing, because like I said, it's probably my favorite Marvel Legend made this year. That's how good it is. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.